Hey guys, it's Chris and I'm going to show you how to activate the Titan and Mission Editor. Now this is very simple to do, there's little scar involved. So what we're going to do is select our Titan chest, go to Groups, Create Entity Group, and let's name it Titan uh, Part 1. Now let's click the skull. Go to Groups, Create Entity Group. Titan Part 2 and the upper body or deck C whatever it's called groups create entity group Titan Part 3 uh, and this little piece Titan Part 4 I'm not going to worry about the little pieces in here because if you want you can edit those yourself. I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, now let's name it. What was I up to? Four. Okay. Titan Part 5. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I did do it right. Excellent. Seven. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's check this. Titan part 8. Excellent. Now, two more. This is very annoying. Okay, now we got them all in the group. Save it. Ah, uh, of course, Vista. This is one of the reasons you shouldn't mod off of Vista. This little error message, it's, a, it's sort of like a big middle finger to you. So I'm actually, what I'm going to have to do is rename the map as something different and copy the SCAR file I wrote for it. So I'm just going to name it something different. Scenario. Scenario properties. Would you look at that? Random numbers. Tutorial. Titanfall tutorial. Okay. Save. I'm just... Oh my god. I, I'm sorry. I fucking hate Vista. I've had so many problems with it. Well, I'm going to look into this problem. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm just saying Vista fucking sucks. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is act, uh, put the function for the Titan activation. Now, uh, I pre-typed it and tested it all out. I have it on actually the screen next to me, so that's what I'm working off of. So what we actually have to do first is define the animation. So under end for on start, we're going to type in, uh, what are we going to type in? Rand 1 equals world get rand. 1, comma 2, close parentheses. I'll show you why we're doing this. And now what we're going to do is type in if rand 1 equals 2 equal signs, actually. 1, then. And now we're going to copy this. Paste it. Type in else in front of the second if. And change it to 2. There we go. And now you're going to want to type these two things in. Anim type and anim type 2. Anim type is the activation animation, and anim type 2 is the regular animation. Now, O, if you put an O in front of it, that's the Imperial's Titan. If you put a D, it's chaos. Thank God I have this pre-typed, but I'm going to have it all in the video info. And if it doesn't fit in the info, I'll have it right the file ready to download. 
sorry, I have bad allergies and I'm um, very tired. So now we're going to do is add another function Titan awake and now what we're going to type in is for i equal 1 comma 10 do this is a shortcut so we don't have to type make it play the animation for each individual piece this will do it for all 10 of them so what we're going to do is type an anim play e group anim titan part close parentheses dot dot i comma anim uh type close parentheses and that is predefined up here so it's random if the if the random thing it, um chooses one then it's going to be good titan if it chooses two then it's going to be a bad titan let's check the alleyway good now what we're going to do is insert it for anim type 2 that that keeps the animation playing so we're going to do this so what i'm going to do is just copy titan awake name it titan awake 2 delete the i put another letter like t titan part dot dot t anim type 2 now what i want to do is have a speech play like an, uh, one of the actors play a speech when it, this happens. So I'm going to add another function. Let's call talk. Sorry if I'm kind of rushing. I'm very eager to get this done because I actually already did a full tutorial. I just had about 50,000 different errors. So that was not good. Okay. <clears throat> now copy this. Uh to actually type it in an actor play speech I happen to have pre-typed the actor's name is Mauser that's General Alexander comma and the speech is defined as numbers so here's an example this one is move out men and what you can do to memorize that is put a dash dash it won't read anything green so you can type whatever you want after that. move out men just so we know. So that's like little side notes. Now under this we're going to do rule add one shot tie in awake comma one. Now we're going to do rule add interval but delay. This is actually a function actually small e and control V tie in awake two comma let's check it and let's make it activate every one second and it'll have a delay of three point five that's just off my the top of my head so it'll be delayed until this animation is played and talk Add one shot. Talk, comma, two. And I think that's about it. I tested it on the other script, and they should be almost exactly the same, unless there's any differences, but I don't see any. Uh, dot, dot, T. Excellent. Let's do check LUA. And just so you know, it's a good idea. This is what I usually do when I make a map. There we go. Bye, Chris. And these little footnotes can help too, if you to help you keep track. And if you click this jump to function button, it'll have all your functions right there, so you can easily skip to one. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.
Look at that. It's staying on. Everything looks good. I think that's it. I will post this up as soon as I finish editing out all the bad parts.